whoever played one of your mine Minecraft servers and wanted to use command block. Yeah, I have to troll people to do other things. Obviously, it's all good stuff. And so I've all, I've looked at a bunch of videos trying to figure this out, and I couldn't. So we're gonna be going into creative, and I'm gonna be showing you how to actually do this. So first off, you wanna open your server panel. Make sure you do slash op, and then your name, of course. So I would do my name, Vesper Sparking. And that's all you do. Make sure that is enabled. And then when you go to use the command block, type in a bunch of codes. So say command blocks are not enabled on the server. And you go to YouTube. It shows you all these Apex hostings. All of whatever. This is Pebble Host, right? They only show up for their specific websites. So I'm going to be showing you how to do it. If you are hosting a server locally from your PC. So first, you want to close your server. So close it. Open here, hit Y and hit enter. That just confirms it. Make sure you close your server. And then if you're using a tunnel server, which gives you a, a hidden IP, which I use, you want to close this out. So then you want to go, don't even mess with Minecraft. Minus that out. Minus your Google. So now what you want to do is open your file explorer go look for whatever your server file or where it's located go into it so most people if you read it off of google it says go into config look for a settings file which is not in there so straight up you just want to scroll all the way down go to where it says server double click on that you're going to see all these settings these are the settings and all these settings are basically the ones that you can control in here do anything you want very simple so what you want to do is you want to go make sure all of this is good right you got your allow flight which I don't use on my server allow nether obviously enable command blocks is come false which is what we're trying to do here so you just want to take that type true which is true then if you want to look at any of these do whatever I don't these are all the settings if you ever need it that's what you do and then click file hit save close that out reboot your server if you have tunnels reboot your tunnels and basically that's gonna be it so now wait for your server to boot up go back into minecraft wait for your server to boot up and I have no idea. Is it booted? Let us see. Is it booted? And it is not. So. Oh yeah, yeah. I forgot. You have to now close your out of your server. Like boot it up, close it, then reboot your server. Start up. Yep. Yeah. Let all of your servers load up. Mine always takes a little bit longer because I have a decent amount of mods. 36 mods required on my server. So then you just want to let all of this load in. And then whenever it loads in, should be set. And we should be able to use command blocks now. So it says type for help. But my server takes a couple extra steps. You should be able to boot it. If it doesn't show up, you should still be able to click it. And then it's just going to let me in. And a couple seconds. Okay, so now we're here. It's just going to be a bit stuttery in the beginning. I'm sorry. Let's, uh... Okay. And we have to put ourselves in creative. Game mode creative. Now we're in creative. And we are opt. You can do any command now. So slash summon a chicken. Because who doesn't like chickens? Always active. Done. Now we have a chicken. No, we don't have a chicken. But basically, that's all you need. I will try to put timestamps. I don't know how yet, but I'm going to try. So that's all you need to host a server if you're booting it from your own PC. This is on Java, of course. So yeah. Have a good day, and I'm going to go...
Thank you.